Well, good morning. We're going to talk about the Suvat relationships. Now, these are a set of four equations uh, that physicists use to link the quantities S, U, V, A, and T. S for displacement, U for initial velocity, V for final velocity, A for acceleration, and T for time. You see, using these four relationships, what we can do is we can calculate a fourth missing variable when given three variables. We do not need all five. And so we shall begin with the definition for acceleration. You see, acceleration is given by the difference in velocity between two times divided by how long that difference has taken to occur. That v minus u over t is essentially the first equation of motion. It is more commonly seen through the rearrangement that occurs when you multiply both sides by t, then you have v minus u, and then of course you add u onto both sides, and you have v that is equal to u plus at. And this is the first equation of motion, and this is the first one that we're going to use. Of course, the second equation of motion, and my personal favourite, is the one that looks at the displacement. You see, from the relationship, the displacement is, um, well, velocity, shall we say, is displacement divided by time. What we can do is we can rearrange this to have that the displacement is velocity times time. Now, this is correct so long as the velocity is constant. If the velocity is not constant, then this is no longer true. And these equations are especially useful when the velocity is not constant, when it is changing from one value, u, to another value, v. So to that end, we cannot have v as a single quantity in this equation. But what we could do is replace v with the average velocity. And that can be found the following way. The average velocity is, of course, equal to u plus v over 2. The average of any two things is basically equal to the two things added together and divided by 2. The average of u and v can be found by adding them together and dividing by 2. So if we substitute in the average velocity for where v is in this formula, then what we have is s equals u plus v over 2 times t. And this is the second of our SUVAT relationships. We want to go for another one. Well, what we could do is we could take this expression for v and substitute it in to the v of this equation here. So let's give that a go. If we have s, which is equal to u plus u plus a t divided by 2 times t, then we have this relationship here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the u terms. We've got u plus u. That's 2u. So we have s equals 2u plus a t divided by 2 times by t. We have 2 divided by 2, so that cancels out. But we still have to divide this side by 2. So we end up with that the displacement is equal to u plus a half a t, all brackets, t. We're going to now multiply both terms inside the brackets by the t, and so we end up with the displacement is ut plus a half a t squared, the relationship that Galileo found by rolling balls down inclined planes. The proportionality between s and t squared is, well, very close to the acceleration, of course, that half is in there as well. Now, a chap called Evangelista Torricelli, he realised that the equations of motion were not complete, that there is in fact another equation of motion that is missing from here. And the way that we're going to do this is by literally taking this one and this one, and we're going to just multiply them together, because we can do that sort of thing. So, we'll start just here, if you follow. As is going to be A, which is V minus U over T, V minus U over T, multiplied by S. Where was it? Down here. U plus V over 2. U plus V over 2 times T. So 
So now we have to multiply under brackets. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to collect the denominator, because that seems to be a sensible thing to do. So we have AS is V minus U, U plus V, all divided by 2T, multiplied by T. The T is going. The two T's cancel out, you see. T and T, goodbye. Lost my chalk. Going for another chalk. Here we go. So now I have this expression. I'm going to multiply both sides by the 2. So that the 2 appears over here. 2AS equals uh, V minus U, U plus V. And of course, I can multiply out these brackets as well. So I'm going to multiply out the V's. And I end up with 2AS is equal to V squared minus UV plus UV minus U squared. And so therefore this and this cancel out. The rearrangement gives V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. Now you may think that this is impressive, but let me tell you, the most impressive thing that I can do with a blackboard is this. With a chalk, I can draw little dots. Watch this. Wait for this. Are you not impressed? I'm impressed. Let's do one more. 